a minority in parliament is demanding answers from Finance Minister Ken Ofeata for releasing 25 million cities to the National Cathedral Secretariat as additional seed money. The NDC MPs are questioning the basis for the release since no such allocation was made in the 2022 budget approved by parliament. Addressing the media, minority spokesperson on foreign affairs, Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa, accused the Ecofuado administration of misplaced priorities given the state's inability to meet many essential financial needs such as allowances for NAPCO beneficiaries, NSS personnel and school feeding program among others, the North Town MP reviewed three urgent questions have been filed to summon the finance minister over the matter, which he alleged is shrouded in shadiness, corruption, and deception. According to him, even God will not be happy with the development. This letter is exposing the lack of sincerity, the duplicity, and the deception. This letter is confirming today that contrary to the claims by the president. The National Cathedral Project apparently is being heavily funded by taxpayer resources. We as members of parliament have not approved all of these colossal sums of money that are being released to companies we are seeing for the first time. We are not even aware of the procurement processes that were followed for these companies and these consultants who are today at the receiving end of hundreds of millions of Ghana cities. The other concern we have is that on the scale of priorities, looking at the current economic crisis that we all find ourselves, the president himself has admitted that we are facing an economic crisis of our lifetime. As we speak, NAPCO trainees have not been paid for more than seven months. National service personnel are old. School feeding caterers are agitating. They are on strike. They have not been paid. National health insurance is old. The last time we looked at the arrears, government owes national health insurance more than 2 billion Ghana cities. Get fund is in arrears. District Assembly Common Fund is in arrears. We are here as members of parliament. The Common Fund has not been released. So for a country that has all of these pressing challenges, for three years, the government has not been able to provide textbooks to basic schools. Capitation grant is in arrears. So if you have all of these challenges, obligations that you are not able to meet, and you are asking everybody to tighten their belts, to bear with you that there is no money, how is it that you are releasing these fantastic sums?